Good morning, everyone. We ready? Live from the TFCU Energy Studio. The Rule and Ryan Show with producer Eric, Special K, and Sam. All right, we have spun Rula's relationship roulette. And, and it the lands topic on is... the pettiest thing you fought over in your divorce. 713-390-KRBE. We're going straight to the phones, trying to get as many of you on as we can. Jessalyn, you're up first. Good morning. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show. Hi, Rula. Hi. I listen to you all the time. Thank you. Hey, okay, so nice. the first time I've called in, because I had to, I tell this story all the time. Ooh, okay. okay. So early 2000s, me and my husband, 20, 21, had two little girls. We're separating. We're stressed out. No money. My mother had bought us a key map when we moved into Houston. Okay. This is before GPS. <laughs> Garments were like $250. Yep. So when we separated... Everything just went perfectly fine except for that key map because it was like 60 bucks and it was like the only way we could get from point A to point B in Houston. And anyone from 20 years ago remembers that's how we got anywhere was these key maps and they were expensive. So we we laugh about that today and most people like a lot of the younger generation doesn't even know what that is. But But you fought over a paper map. Who ended up getting it? I got the key map. You got <laughs> the key map. Right. My what mother you... had bought it in the marriage, right? Like a gift. Okay. And when we moved into Houston to go to college, and uh, you know we're working in school, this kids daycare, and uh, I I ended up with it. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I needed it more anyway. Did you have to make a trade though? Did you have <laughs> to give funny. him something that you kind of bought, like say the, you have CDs, the toaster, or something? What was, what was painful to give up? Okay, so the, uh, right before we separated, we had a, a baby iguana that we had just purchased as a family pet, and he got the iguana. Mm. So Sounds I like got the better deal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He got the iguana. <laughs> How long do those things live? Uh, so him and his brothers had some, so he had some, like, companions as well, like, to ask for advice. Um, they live for many years, and they get very big, but the thing that you have to watch out for is they like to escape and i think that's what ended up happening is that one ended up escaping but their poop is kind of like bird poop like lizard poop Mm -hmm. and it's like white and messy and so he had to deal with all of that and (laughs) you got the map he got the iguana you got the better deal because you really use that map that's why you brought back memories thing about the key map i know or map quest after that map quest you'd go to map quest and you'd print something out yep Mm -hmm. i had the two pieces of paper when i moved from Mm -hmm. illinois down to dallas yes how to follow you trying to read that map you get a map yeah you can thanks for calling the show you have a fantastic day. Um, Lisa is on the line at 713-390-KRBE. Hi, Lisa. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show. Hello. Hi. The Good question. Morning. Good morning. 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 If you're just tuning in, guys, Lisa is answering the question, what is the pettiest thing you fought over in your divorce? <laughs> what was it, Lisa? We fought over the bank account. That's just not petty. The account number. Because oh, we not the to, actual money in the account. The actual oh, number to right. the account? You wanted to keep the account number. Yes, I wanted to keep oh, it because I knew oh. it by heart. Yeah. yeah. I still had checks, mm-hmm. and he wanted to do the same, so we had to end up closing it. Oh, oh nobody oh, wins. Nobody got to win. I'd be like, I'll go close it and then not close it. But you're right. Yeah, Knowing that bank account number and the routing number so by heart, helpful. You don't want to have yeah. to relearn a new one. Well, you guys must have we really hated each years. other. You couldn't. Yeah. You couldn't. <laughs> Come to a That's like conclusion. the biblical thing where they got to cut the child in half. You know, nobody wins. Oh, we did great on the child. <laughs> yeah, y'all figured that one out real easy. Who's going to get the kids? They thought, you have. No, uh, you take them. No, you take them. <laughs> oh, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, that's actually funny. And that that's people get, people will not leave a bank no matter how much they hate it because they know the numbers and want to start again. That's, uh, that's I true. still know the bank account number. Oh, look today. at you. Have you learned the new one yet? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. How about the gym? Yes. Do you think people fight over that? Like, Who's going to take uh, over that gym, gym territory? We're going to get divorced. That gym. Yeah. You know, go a different location. Yeah, you go somewhere else. We can't be working out the same I never place. thought of that. Yeah, but that is yeah. something because that's your routine. I would. I, I went to a gym once and because my ex-brother-in-law went there, I found out. It was yeah. like Lifetime over in mm-hmm. Greenway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to be around that idiot. I, I can't. I went one day and I quit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, you don't want them in your territory. Just, yeah, you don't want to. It's not fun. Because no, if think about it, if, 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 let's say your mate cheated on you and the mistress goes to the grocery store where you go now, and you're like, Ooh, 
Yeah. Come on. I was here at this grocery store first. <laughs> or they're on their account. This is my grocery store first. To work out. You go find somewhere else to shop. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're going to Katrina on the line uh, answering the question for Rula's relationship. Roulette, what is the pettiest thing you fought over in your divorce? Katrina, hello. 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 Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. My um, lovely ex-husband cheated on me while I was nine months pregnant with our son and got oh. somebody else pregnant. Oh, oh man. my goodness. Yeah. So at about oh, six, when our son was about six months old on Thanksgiving Day, I left his dad. But before we ever even had him, we had rescued a Siberian husky. Mm-hmm. Nice. And so when we split up, I had already been in my new place, and he was still living at my mom's house. And the dog was over there. That's that's weird. Your mom mom put up your cheating ex-husband, let her live there. So you're not there. Her own flesh and blood, but the guy who cheated on her flesh and blood is living under her roof. Why? What's What's your dog? Be me and my mom have bigger issues than that. I'd, uh, I'd say. Okay. Right, hopefully, uh, All mom right. wasn't the one he cheated with. Ew. No. <laughs> that has happened. Uh, should be pregnant. So Ew, he stop. took the dog, and he had to go back to live with his grandmother. And so one day, I went to take our son over there, and he was at work, and his grandma was just complaining about this dog. So I was like, I'll just take him. And she's like, will you really? And I was like, yeah. So we loaded him up and put him in my car. And she's like, don't tell him because we're going to tell him. I'm going to tell him he ran away. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. He's going to find out. But was he going to see the dog if y'all took, share a our child? Kids, our kid's nine years are old now. It took him three years for him to come to my house to pick our son up for him to realize <laughs> I had the dog the whole time. Oh, my God. Oh, what did he say? Yeah, what did he say, Katrina? He's like, I thought he ran away. I was so upset. And I was like, well, that was funny because you weren't upset when your wife and child left. Oh, oh geez, wow. I didn't even wait for that Damn one. straight, geez. Katrina. Damn straight. <laughs> That's a little... Good for you. Yeah. I thought I was so upset. The dog oh. ran away. See, yeah, he ran away from you and went to my house. So, but wow. it, the dog's 12 years old now, and I've still got him. So. That's awesome. Good for wow. you. So, yeah, just doing awesome. the math, though, you were nine months pregnant with your son, and then he got mm-hmm. that other girl pregnant. So then are mm-hmm. the kids nine months apart or seven months apart? Um, they are 10 months apart. 10 months 10 apart. Months. Okay. Okay. I went into labor early. Um, funny story, though, we live right down the road from each other, so the two boys go to the same school. Are they close are they together? Oh, Talk about being in your territory. Are they, like, real they have a brother relationship? They, they, they are okay with each other. My son has issues with his father and his responsibility, but the boys, I don't punish the kid. I let their other kid come over to our house all the time oh, okay. and, and play. So I, I hold no ill will. You know, we were young. We were, I was 19 years old. So oh, yeah. Yeah, it just has to be hard for your son to see yeah. his brother getting treated you know, better than him. He lives with the dad. It's, yeah. it's, we don't have that issue. Oh, you don't? Okay. Well, that's good. That's good to know. That's good. All right. Well, Katrina, (laughs) thanks so much for sharing your story. What's your dog's name? Yeah, Shredder. 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 Man, that's the first cartoon yeah. crush I ever had. <laughs> Shredder. Shredder. You can't see his face with his muscles. Is he a giant rat? Good. Is this Shredder a rat? Oh, no, no, that was that helper guy. Splinter. 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 Yeah. <laughs> if Kevin was in love with a rat, that'd, uh, that'd be a problem. That would explain so much. Yeah. Yeah. It would explain a lot, though. Uh, we're asking what rat is the pettiest steady. thing that you fought over in your divorce? Kaylee is up next. Hi, Kaylee. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. So what is the item that you had y'all fighting over it and now looking back is like, that was ridiculous. So I've never been divorced, but I work in family law and I've worked in family law for almost 20 years. So I have seen some things, but the goofiest thing I've ever seen is a couple fight over candles so much that they could not mediate and had to go to trial over six Yankee candles. Stop oh. it. Stop it right over now. A candle. They candle? spent all Just that money on the lawyers over six Yankee candles. If I was a judge, I'd be like, what, what the hell was doing with here? these and candles? Now, what was it, so special about them? Because the husband wanted to upset the wife, and he was like, well, I don't care about child support, whatever. I'll, you can keep the house, but I'm keeping your candle. And she said, absolutely not. So they. They went to a full day mediation, oh which is God. required. You know, you have to mediate before trial. Yep. They impassed in the mediation, which means they did not settle because of candles. Oh my wow. God. Wow. A mediation is not cheap. That's like 10,000 minimum or something. For you, no, it's so just for the mediator itself, that's $1,200 a party plus eight hours of attorney's fees at what, 400 an hour? 
I'm telling you, like in the thousands. You could oh, be in the thousands yeah, for a mediation over six then, Yankee candles. Who won? Okay, so Yankee candle is sixteen dollars. <laughs> the judge said, "I don't care." The judge I said, care. "I don't care." So, but that's what they're fighting over. So he had to say he or she had to give somebody the candles. You didn't flip a coin or no, anything. You they didn't? said, "Figure it out." You keep the possessions that are in, or I'm sorry, you keep the items that are in your possession. You keep the items that are in your possession. Whoever oh. gets to them first gets them. Oh, oh my gosh! Wow. Whoa. Now listen, Yankee candles for years they're not really they're not cheap. No, they're not, it's right here. It depends on, Amazon, on the size, right? Sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, but they can, on, they they're get, like really nice quality candles. Yes, and they can get up to like thirty bucks a pop. Mm-hmm. So. But oh, still, yeah. thirty $400 times six. An hour? Yeah, b- versus four hundred an hour plus twelve hundred per person. It, it, that was all about principle and just being oh, like, yeah. I hate evil to each other. Just doing wow. it so over a hundred, oh, one hundred eighty dollars. We'll say on the was high so end. So hateful. Like I'm not settling. And I mean, she ended up having like sixty thousand dollars in attorney's fees because. They couldn't settle over stupid candles as much as we admonished her. Like, give it up. Who cares? Go buy more. Wow. Right. Right. Go buy more. $60,000 to win $180. This guy. <laughs> and okay. that's why you should be an attorney if you're not done with school yet because the attorneys yeah, always they're get They're the ones that win. <laughs> both the, the woman, too. I kept saying the guy. Wow. But she could have just said, no, Kaylee. you didn't take them. Now people are yeah. looking at what's so great about these Yankee candles? Wow. <laughs> I mean, I know there are they some candles so out there that nice. can run in the thousands, but that's crazy. They do Damn smell Yankees. so good. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all go to the listener Damn line Yankees. and tell us the pettiest thing you fought over in the divorce. We have lots of fantastic texts, but we want to change gears here because there's a topic that we've done in the past that's always very interesting about uh, people's bad impression at an interview. It, it, we started calling it hired or undesired. What happened in your interview that sounded weird or wacky or unfortunate. Or something weird happened. You tell us what that situation was, and then in the room, we're going to guess, did that company hire you or not, given the information that you tell us? Right? 713-390-KRBE. That's our phone number. Next on The Rule and Ryan Show. 104.1 KRBE. It's The Rule and Ryan Show. Hired or undesired? Yeah! That is where you tell us the story of an interview that uh, wasn't... So seamless. I didn't go the way you thought. It wasn't uneventful. Something happened. Based on what happened, we're going to guess, did you get that job or not? And this is one game you can play while you're you know, at yeah. work or driving. You can play along and try and guess as well. The last time we did this, there was one instance where the person, we thought, there's no way you got that job. The mm-hmm. person was offered the job but was too ashamed to take it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Because you pooped her pants. Yeah. Um, Alexis <laughs> is up first. 713-390-KRB. Hello, Alexis. Hello. Welcome to the show. Yay. I'm actually dropping off baby right now. Okay. Do you want us to come back to you? Can come right back to you? Yeah. I can come right back to you let you do that. Just okay. stay on hold um, and like do your thing. We'll I'm putting you on hold. I'll go to the Emily and then I'll come back to you. Hold on. I know how that is. You know, the exchange. Yeah. Like, of course, y'all got me on right Just the exchange. first. You got to prioritize. All right, Emily, hi. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Hired or Undesired. Tell us your odd interview story, but don't give enough details where we where it's obvious. Let us guess what the answer is. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I was 21 years old, living in New York City, and I really needed a job as a waitress, but I had no waitressing experience. So I lied on my resume that I had worked at a restaurant in Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. So I was at the interview, and she was like, oh, my gosh, I used to work at this restaurant, too. Oh, Oh, no. 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 It it gets worse. Oh, no. It gets worse. (laughs) And she's like, what did you think about the fire? I had no idea the restaurant had burned down. Oh, and no. she was like, wait, you worked here? I worked here at the same time based no. on the date that oh, you worked dear. at the restaurant. No. Oh, no. She's oh, like, I never saw you. When did you work? And I was like, oh, I was really part-time. Granted, y'all, this was like a super small local restaurant. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you would know everybody. I was, like, know everyone. I was like breaking out in hives. Oh it was God. so embarrassing. Okay, okay, right, okay. okay. Is that the so, that's the end of the story? That's yeah. the end. That's enough that we could. Uh, yes. Okay. 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 I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just put her down so she doesn't. Um, as a boss, okay. I would know she's lying, and I wouldn't hire her. Well, the lying part is what's going to get you not hired. Mm-hmm. Whether they yeah. want to train you or not is a different story. Well, maybe but she told her sob so story. She lied. Like we're both from Texas. I'm just trying to make it in the big city. 
Because she didn't well, tell us that she, she cracked and said, I'm lying to you. Yeah, but because right. you're so desperate to have a job in the big city of New York. And she's like, oh, you're from that you're city. You're from that same area. Oh, that town. You have and a now bond. you're here. Yeah, you have a bond. I'm saying she got hired. Me too. Uh, yeah, got hired because she played it off. She, she's yeah. she's kind of like, oh, oh yeah, some real, real part time, like once a uh, month. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Gosh, hired or not? No, I want to say not hired, but wow. you, you always need servers. I don't know. But you want a liar. I'm no, gonna I'll say, go I'm unhired saying, just to go up. I'm, gonna go unhired. Unhired. I'm, just, I'm with you. So rule and I say did not get the job. Okay. Yeah, Here we go. three yeses, two noes. So Emily, did you get the job or not? I never heard from them again. Oh. Yeah. yeah, she sniffed out your lies. It was like there's Dang. no way you were part, did you ever part, call part, part back? time. Like, did you call or? I wish I wish that I would have just like fessed up and been like, oh man, I really need the job. I'm sorry. But I went with the lie until the very end. Oh, you stuck. Yeah, and she saw through that. Oh, so she's like, it. nah, and this I, girl lies. I could never go back and eat there again. No. I was afraid they would see my face. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. The liar. I'd be nervous and you too. did get yeah. a job though eventually? Yes, as a waitress. Nice. Oh. <laughs> and were you any good at it? Uh, kind of. <laughs> I was cute enough to where they kept me on staff. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. You're nice. what? She's cute enough. Oh. Kept her on staff. Never had that. I don't know what that would be like. No. It was that for us. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> yeah. yeah, You know, Eric, you're yeah. not the best in radio, but you're you're cute. So, so come on in. Come on em- in. Emily, <laughs> thank you so much for sharing that story. And the lesson is do not lie. I mean, of course, but what are the odds? What are the odds the person mm-hmm. in New York worked at the same restaurant Maybe she did. Maybe she was just time. saying like, that because she sniffed million. It. No, I think that that interviewer really did work at that restaurant because she knew about this fire that Emily didn't know about. Mm-hmm. I mean, when you meet somebody, when I li- lived in the East Coast and I met somebody from Texas in general, not even Houston, I'd be like, you are, and I'd be like oh my God, yeah. do you know so-and-so? Right. Do you know this? Have you been to the Houston Rodeo? Tell them. Tell them about the Houston Rodeo. It's crazy. And then they're like, I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, yeah. It's well, Horses are there. You're like, oh, and you're like, oh. It's really big. You're like, that's not what that is. <laughs> anyway, okay, we're back to Alexis. Alexis, are you good? right now? Did you do the drop-off with the baby? Yes. Okay, okay, good. It's Hired or Undesired here on the Rule and Ryan Show. You're telling us a story about your interview, and based on what happened in the interview, we're going to guess in the room, did you get hired for the job or not? Tell us your story, okay. Alexis. So, I was applying in November 2021 as a fresh out of nursing school, uh, like, I guess, registered nurse, mm-hmm. and I had told my manager the entire COVID story of what happened from the first semester of COVID to like the very end, I told her all my patients were simulation patients, all online module patients. I was like, I have not seen an actual patient, a sick patient at that, because every family would reject us and not want us in the room as extra exposure. So I was like, I know nothing. And you are going to get me as I know nothing, just straight off the book. (laughs) You were, so you came so right out honest. with it in your interview saying, I have never okay. actually treated a yeah. real human before as a yeah. nurse. I would think we needed nobody nurses. Would we like, were, yeah. yeah, we were so understaffed during the pandemic. I'm going to say you got hired because they needed you and you were just going to have to just get, it, get up yes. in there. I hired. do too. And hired. you're being honest yeah. about it. You're saying up front. Mm-hmm. Here's Are we unanim- unanimous yep. at hired? Yeah, yeah. Hired. Okay, Alexis, we think you got hired. Did you get hired? Yes. Yay! Yeah. 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 At least you said. She told me in the interview, we'll teach you everything. You're going to come in knowing everything, and it's already been two years, and they have taught me the most. <laughs> you learn more there. I'd rather hire good. somebody like in this job that's willing to learn and has yes. promise than somebody that's already set in their ways. Mm-hmm. Eric wants to mold you. Yes, yeah. it's well, true. Well, you also yeah, mold want you that, to fit the, the show. And, you want and that the, hunger also. Yeah, you want somebody that already has their thing. And then mm-hmm. they they won't change. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Square uh, Alexis, I'm glad that you're that succeeding thing. as a nurse. Thank you so much for listening to the Rule and Ryan Show. Sydney is up next. Hired or undesired? Tell us about a job interview gone wrong. We'll guess if you got the job or not. Hi, Sydney. Hi. I'm very Hi. proud of myself for saying that easily. <laughs> now you gotta say it again. That's the word that I have a problem with. Okay, so tell us what happened in your interview, but don't give us enough details that it makes it obvious that we can guess the answer. Okay, so back in '99, car accident. I lost some teeth. I had to get uh, fake teeth. The night before my interview in 2007, my son jumped on my head and broke one of the teeth out. Oh, no. Yeah, so I super glued it in my mouth. (laughs) And because I did not want to go to an interview with a tooth missing. I would not recommend that. (laughs) Super glue in your mouth. I didn't need it. I just thought I'd try it. Yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) During the interview, she asked me some questions, and I was getting ready to start talking, and the tooth started moving. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh Oh, Oh, no. Which tooth position is it? Front tooth or, like, one of the front four? 
It's one of the front four. Oh, so it's visible. So man. Yeah. Man. Okay. Okay. So it so, starts to move. It, so it's, when it moved, I stopped talking. And with all of her questions, I just started nodding my head, either yes or no, because I was so afraid to talk. Why am I also oh, nodding my head? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you don't want your tooth to fall I out. I think you're going to stop there and, and let us guess, or do we need to know anything else? Or did it fall out while you, did you talk? I'm going to stop there and let you go. Okay, okay, right. okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm going to say no, because body language and communication is everything in an interview, and if all of a sudden she shut down and just, like, was nodding, you know the interviewer later was like, Man, I don't this... know, I had this crazy lady in my office, she could not, she can't was? answer me in the interview, how's she going to talk to our customers? Well, what, what kind job? of job she was it? She say what kind it was. What kind of job was it? It was a customer service job with oh. an airplane. With an airplane. Okay, I'm going not hired. What do y'all think? I'm going to say hired. All right, I say not. Oh, man, this is hard. Uh, I she was a good listener. The nodding. <laughs> yeah, but, but she's an interview. You're started. supposed to talk. There's an exchange Could have warned there. you about the super glue. It lasts about eight hours, and then your tooth falls out. Because Ryan had to glue his tooth back in after my wedding. Mm-hmm. I, knocked, I knocked my tooth out. <laughs> So, he put it in backwards. Not because he was like like going ham at the wedding. It's just because he can't walk. <laughs> so we've got two street. unhired, one hired. What do you think, um, uh, Kevin and Ryan? Uh, hired. Okay, Ryan, what do you say? <sighs> hired. So three hired, two unhired. Sydney, did you get that job? I did get the job. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe okay. that. That's what amazing. Happened was, what school. happened? Initially... She started telling me, I'm so sorry, we have uh, big personalities at this job, and the fact that you aren't speaking, you know, it just tells me I don't think you're a good fit. So then I just told her the truth. I said, look, my child broke my tooth out last night, and I super glued it, and it started moving. So I was scared. I didn't want it to bounce across the table and hit you in your lap. So I stopped talking. The lady was laughing oh. so hard. She was She's laughing. Like, She's going to make you're going to make me pee myself. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got you That's awesome. Yeah, but that I definitely got you the job. That's for sure. They got See, you asked, she told you that. So can't you can go wrong yes, with the truth. Yes. I'm glad the interviewer did tell you that. We have big... Per- That's a good way to say it. You don't talk enough. We have big personalities here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're probably not going to fit in. The truth about All right, about well, of course you got the job if you got explained it. it. Bravo. Do you still work there now or was that long time ago and you're on to something else now? <laughs> Due to COVID, they allowed us to retire because by then I had been there for like 13 years. Oh, okay. And they allowed me to retire with lifetime flight benefits. So Whoa, I was like, oh, nice. Okay. How's your teeth, by the way? <laughs> Everything's okay? All good? Teeth are hanging in there? Yeah. Yeah, mint dentistry takes care of me. Oh, mint. Oh, oh, yeah, nice. You got sexy teeth. <laughs> Sydney, thanks for sharing your story. You have a great day and happy travels. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Seven one three vent That is the listener line. You guys can um, leave us your stories there. Of Put, a Put a pause. Put a pause in there. So many people, or we'll bring it back next week. Yeah. It's fun. Uh, yeah, coming up next, we've uh, got One Celebrity day. Scoop. We have a chance for you to score tickets to see 21 Pilots at <laughs> Toyota Center. They're coming here. Uh, we'll give you that and more next on The Real and Ryan Show. <laughs> Celebrity Scoop. KRB. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 21 Pilots is coming to the Toyota Center. They're going to be here September the 4th, and uh, we've got your tickets. Well, you can buy them, but why not win them right now for free? Call our 10 713 390 KRBE. If you are lucky enough to be caller 10, you go see 21 Pilots for free. Nice. All right, now let me uh, throw you this one. Everybody has a rivalry with their siblings about something. Like, I'm better than you at that, or I'm more organized than you, or I'm smarter than you in math. My, or... s- my sister and I, it's uh, who had the harder life growing up. Oh, no. who had more strife in their life? <laughs> Which one, the oldest sister or the my middle oldest, sister? Because she's like, I did all this. I'm like, I don't think you understand what I, because you were really young when you lost both parents. Yeah, That's I mean, got to be harder. Well, she also but lost that, both parents. Yeah, but I was she's like a, different a kid. Age. Yeah, but she was so older. I always had that one, but... Like the working on the farm. Like, who do you think did it, Eric? When you because we were six years difference. Mm-hmm. When I was twelve, you were six playing at home with your with your He Man toys. I was out there. I'm like, you were not out there. I was. I still remember things. But everyone <laughs> thinks it's so much harder. But I just gave up. I'm like, yes, you had it harder. Who had me. more strife you in did life? Not, not even close to what a boy on a farm. Well, the New Would Heights have. podcast for the Kelsey brothers took a turn to that topic as they were joined by Philly Eagles running back Saquon Barkley. And he asked this question, and here's how. Oh, first, 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 before I even get to the audio. Around the room, if you had to take Jason Kelsey and Travis Kelsey and put them in a drinking contest, which one do you think would win? Jason, easy. Is it beer or is it just booze? I'm just saying drinking. If it's whiskey, drinking? drinking, I'd say Travis. But if it's 
beer. Jason's a Why big does it matter? Beer. Jason's bigger. Because Jason drinks beer more yeah. than... And, he drinks well, lots of I'm just alcohol. Jason, Jason, Jason alcohol. All for drinking me. purposes, yeah. Travis to look at. What do you mean? Because he's good looking. Like, like to wait. watch him get what? gas. <laughs> oh, well, that wasn't one of the well, options. I'm Thanks, just, Sam. I'm just <laughs> giving that option. We're going to fantasize well. about why you want to drink. It's an FRS. Kevin, Jason Kelsey or Travis Same. Kelsey win a drinking contest? Jason looks way more bearish, yeah. so he could probably, <laughs> you know, palm a beer and, and down it. Mm. Whereas. Um, Travis looks. He seems a little more dainty, a little, a little more. No, he's six, seven. He, he oh, probably, he's dainty. He did talk about Kevin. He did have to address his dad bought in the Bahamas with Taylor Swift yeah, because everyone's thinking he's all like ripped, you know. And when the Super Bowl happened between um, the Chiefs and who did they just play? Oh my God! Who did they just play? Oh, it was. It was uh, oh my God. God! Who just played the Super the Bowl? The other people. I can't Forty. Even... No. Yeah, forty nine. Forty nine. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine I was thinking the Super Bowl. Two years ago, yeah. both of the quarterbacks were ashamed for their dad bods and their NFL winning quarterbacks, right? Mm-hmm. And so uh, Tra- Travis Kelsey was looking a little, like you know a little thicker. What do they think uh, he's going to have? Bahamas, a, he doesn't he goes, have a six pack. We're, he off season. Did. we're off season, but in so we have what? Ryan said Jason. You said Jason. Yeah. Jason. Kevin hey, said Jason. Jason. Sam Jason. said Jason. Unless you're fantasizing, then it's Travis for sure. Right. That's right. They're sure. calling that and I would have said bod. Jason. And I would have said Jason. There's pictures of him with his shirt on when they're walking, and it looks he looks like a little like you know filled out. But yeah. whatever, it doesn't matter. I, who cares? Take he's it. he's richer than you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like whoever is Taylor the Swift. What, what, keyboard warrior. Uh, here is the answer: How this played out on the podcast for New Heights. If you, if you had a drinking contest, who's winning? At a drinking contest, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've beaten Jason the last three to five times. Mm-hmm. He's on a this is off. completely made up. First of all, what's the competition? Yeah. What? We're talking about chugging, just chugging a beer. So chugging and then like toe to toe, toe to toe with what? Like, like who, who's going? Who's 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 calling quits? Oh, um, yeah, well, I can I definitely might, drink yeah. more volume. I don't even think that's a question. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you think yeah. you can? Tra- you're already down to two sixty. I'm, I'm we're, 283. We're, we're, 283 we're in the same weight class now. <laughs> Two, yeah, I know, but I'm. 283? You don't have the heart that I do when it comes Still, to drink. Whoa. It's March. The we're heart. in the same weight class right now. <laughs> I don't think you heard that. He said you, you don't definitely have the heart are. You're, 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 you're yeah. more ingrained. You've been drinking more than I he have. He hasn't recently. stayed out past 10 p.m. since 2017. <laughs> Did you not no see way. me at your playoff games this year? Did you yeah. not see me at your playoff games this year? Do you remember any of that? Whoa. I But no, because I was drinking all day. <laughs> yeah, that's no. a good point. If you if you, if you don't start drink, if you stop drinking, mm-hmm. you're not going to be able to. Oh, last. Tolerance, tolerance goes just, down. Yeah, and, and 2017 is probably when he had his first kid. Because when I first became a mother, zero tolerance. Like y'all know me, I talk about this all the time. I'm the cheapest date ever for my husband. He's like, okay, one cocktail. You like to order four of them from the menu, but you're only drinking maybe a half of one of them. And then I do drink them fast, and I'm like, oh, I can't eat anything now. And I'm like, that's a delicious cocktail. Uh, yeah. So what's the answer there? By volume, Jason Kelsey all day. Travis Kelsey said by uh, for for length of time. Travis Kelsey. If I had to put sure. money on it. Yeah. Definitely, Jason. I have a feeling they're we're going to find out. We are going to find gonna out. Be that's going to that's gonna be the next setup week. for like Chug their contest. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. To, to Eric's point, if only Taylor would pop in on that podcast for all of like two words, it would be. It would be like every his, record Jason's of every podcast up. ever listened to, and because every Swifty will replay it fifteen times. Yeah. You know they're saving that. They're, they're waiting because I think they're trying to get a new deal for his. Podcast. Oh, that's smart. Wow. Who on the Rule and Ryan show drinks the most? Who can consume I the think, most ooh. drinks? I think, I think that's you, you. I say Sam. You. Yeah. No, 100%. I don't think Kevin consumes like you consume. He likes to have drinks, but mm-hmm. you love beer. You even said that last week. I love beer. I drink it every day. We have a keg in our beer was pretty good last week. The beer was going down a real drift. smooth. Yeah, between <laughs> all of us. I was mixing it back and forth. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have asked that question then. Never mind. I thought you were going to say Eric. <laughs> Yeah, oh, no, well, I don't know. I, yeah, I, I, I think by I thought this volume. was going to be a comparison. What you like last the night? Frequency or volume? I or had a uh, bourbon. I had a bourbon to start the night. Uh-huh. And then I had a half a bottle of wine. See? You can make me worry about you. I think I need you. I had a run. I had my wife. We had together. We're just hanging out. But she was just with you watching you drink all that. No, she had a half <laughs> bottle. She had the other half. <laughs> But the she amount of with there. your wife doesn't mean she yeah, has see, the other thing because is, Santi's home doesn't mean he's drinking with me. You know, uh, what I mean? Eric is drinking bourbon and just a couple of them, and but Sam is drinking, say, three beers. There's probably more alcohol in that bourbon. Yeah. That's than, what I'm no, saying. No, no, no. So one shot is equal to one can of beer. It's a beer, a glass of wine, a shot. Well, I don't know yeah, about that. Yeah, but Eric that. does that's, like three, four. I get, I get wrecked off I don't a glass do. of whiskey, yeah. but a beer? No, not so much. Yeah. Yeah, because I was adrift. I was having my bourbon, and then instead of having water, I'd have a beer. Oh. Oh my God, Eric! Uh, How is your night, liver functioning right now? When we were yeah. drift, 
I'd have the whiskey, and then, and then like, I'm like, a I'm like a I'll water, have a beer that's like water. And then a beer, and I, then go back. I got a Manhattan. I mean, another one last night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you do it up? It's you addictive. know I did. Yeah, Mark I love him so too. much now. Not strike me. Everyone's watching basketball. Everyone's got their beer. And you're like, here's my Manhattan. And it wasn't a dainty glass. With it was like on a stem. It was in stemware. When we were at Drift, Urban, yeah. who does our digital, every time I looked over our... our Fun listener, Mark, he lives in Katy. He owns mm-hmm. a, a great company. Call out. He was buying Irvin drinks. Uh-huh. And I kept seeing Irvin with like a different glass. Like, Every it looked like a little time. martini glass. It looked like a little... Is that oh, what yeah, because he was doing old fashions. The camera was so blurry yeah. that day. He was doing old fashions. I'm like, what was that? That was a weird-looking glass. Every time I look over, I'm like... He was switching, <laughs> switching it up. Oh, my God. Uh, Thanks, Mark. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He'll be doing some drink of the day. But he's young. He can do that. He can mix. Yeah. I'm like, I got to keep it. Though. Oh, I'd say if I could transplant like Ryan in his heyday, I mean, I can drink a lot. That's nothing I want to brag about because look what an idiot I turned into from all that drinking. He so. just became a talker. Yeah. Yeah, I was bad. I'm like, man, yeah. of course, yeah. Sam, what back you? in the day, yeah. we had to do gigs like Halloween parties and stuff. Guys. And Ryan would get drunk and then he'd get on the mic. He'd be like. Who wants to see Rula and Tasso's kiss? <laughs> and he and he would get Tasso yeah. to kiss me, and I'm like, this is very odd. So weird. I don't <laughs> even remember that. That's because you I were was drunk. So, I mean, I, we're talking like 20 plus drinks. Like I was, and he would just he would talk. He was like, start talking to you and corner you, <laughs> and just like <laughs> Kevin and I'd be like. How do we get out of this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's yeah. talking. He, I don't think he knows what he's even saying. Slink and, away. I know. I gave it up, and I was like, Slink it, away. rightly so. And I you're gave happier it up. than ever. Oh, I am. I need to get you another happier. drink from the bar down the street. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's how you get out. <laughs> It'll take me a while to make it back. Even, I don't I, even think I've been drunk in years. I, it's been years. I cut my foot earlier, and my shoe was filling up with blood. That's from Romeo and Michelle. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so, so the Astros like, are having story? their yeah, season right? opener today. First pitch, 3 Don't sound so excited, Ryan. Yeah. So I'm getting to the good stuff. Having their season. I'm it's, getting woo! to the good stuff. Okay, okay. making his back. third straight opening day start. Uh, obviously, there's a pregame street festival. Uh, gates open at 110 in the afternoon. Fans are going to get the 2024 Astros schedule magnet when they enter. Uh, let's see. Michael Brantley's going to throw out the first pitch. And 50 Cent's going to call play ball. Right when you were saying that, I was getting, like, hot in here because I'm my blood pressure is going up because I'm excited about the baseball game. Yeah. And I almost took off my sweatshirt. So oh, I could, you're not wearing oh, it there? I'm not wearing a Me shirt. Me neither. I, I'm you a shirt on. No, this is sports bra. I almost pulled my sweatshirt off while Ryan was talking so I could not be so hot. I go, what? I'm not wearing a shirt. It's Y'all fine. almost saw all my wobbly bits and all. We Just all, do it, Rula. Look, we're family. Yeah. I would take it. I would roll it down, but I wouldn't pull it up. Like the middle needs to stay covered, but the top. What you could do is take it off and then make it a tube top and tie it in the back, so it covers your belly and then it ties in the back. So we'll do that on Instagram Live. I'll show you. I can't do it today. Hey, real quick, Port of Houston leaders have offered to help the Port of Baltimore in the wake of the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Uh, Basically, what they're saying that bridge uh, had to halt all shipping. And some of Baltimore's incoming ship traffic could be rerouted to the port of Houston. Good Lord, that's far. I mean, they got ports well, around there, why. too. They got like New York. And- they, they say Baltimore like is the top port in the nation for vehicle imports, as well as a major hub for wood, paper, sugar, and other commodities. So this would be, this, this would be the, uh, the, the blame this for things being behind. Yeah. Oh, and then we'll year. have to start paying more like absorbent oh, prices. Oh, uh, we can't get you that tile that you wanted for the bathroom bridge collapse. Yep. You know, the, they'll on, be like that was three on, years ago. On account of the bridge collapse, you're not going to get that. New and you process. know, they never bring the prices back down. It's like airline tickets when there was a, a, the fuel prices were so much, they jacked the ticket prices up. Fuel prices came down; those ticket prices did not. The luggage come down. fee, yeah, fuel always fee. a new fee. Right now. Or on the toll tollways. Oh, that's only for ten years. Nope, they keep nope. that. That's forever. Well, coming up next, Rule and Ryan's Roses uh, has to do with a skater boy that we didn't believe was a skater boy. You say he's a skater boy. <laughs> he said, see you later, boy. You're going to hear it all next on the Rule and Ryan Show.